Are you planning on moving to Buenos Aires? Are you wondering what to expect when you get there? Then this video is just for you. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to share with you my favorite things about living in Buenos Aires, Argentina. You'll remember a few weeks ago I did a video with just the things that I thought were a little annoying about living in Buenos Aires. And today I want to focus on just the positives and just my absolute favorite things about living in Buenos Aires, Argentina. So if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Melissa and I have been an expat for the past seven years of my life. I spent three and a half years in Luanda, Angola in the past three years living in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I have an expat blog where I share my expat experiences with you. So definitely be sure to check it out. Also, give this video a like and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. That way you will be notified when I release new content about expat living. All right, guys, after three years of living in Buenos Aires, Argentina, I can confidently say that I loved living there. Now, that doesn't mean to say that every minute was super easy because that is definitely not the case. I had many rough patches living in Buenos Aires. I think I've talked about some of them on this channel um, and definitely on my blog, so be sure to check that out. But living in Buenos Aires grew on me, and honestly, it probably took me a solid 16 months to really start enjoying my day-to-day -day living there. So if you are planning on moving to Buenos Aires or if you're currently there right now and you're having a hard time, you know, I completely understand. I've been there myself, but it definitely can take some time to get acclimated living in Buenos Aires and really anywhere new in the world. If you think about it, you're from a completely different culture. You do things completely differently. So anytime you're switching up your life and moving someplace new, it's going to be a little bit difficult at the beginning. All right. So the first thing that I loved about living in Buenos Aires was how walkable the city was. So before moving to Buenos Aires, I had never lived in what I'll call a walkable city. Um, I spent most of my life living in Houston, Texas. And if you know anything about Houston, you'll know that it is a huge city and it's very spread out. Um, you do basically require a car to get around. There's a little bit of public transportation, but it's not that great. Um, and then I moved to Luanda, Angola, and we lived out in a suburb of Luanda and we worked downtown. So we needed a car to move around there as well. But living in Buenos Aires, you definitely do not need a car to move around. In fact, I would probably say the majority of citizens that live there do not own cars. And for me, it was just so nice to just live life a little differently for three years. I really enjoyed being able to walk to everything I needed. So we had, of course, pharmacies and grocery stores and movie theaters, tons of restaurants and cafes um, right in our neighborhood. And when we did want to venture out a little bit more and maybe go to a neighborhood that was maybe 10 miles away, 15 miles away, um, we would just save that for the weekend where we would take a taxi, um, have the taxi drop us off maybe in the middle of the neighborhood and then just spend the whole day walking around or trying a different restaurant over there before coming back to our own neighborhood, Recoleta. But no matter what neighborhood you live in, it will be extremely walkable. Each neighborhood has everything you can need and I really just enjoyed being able to walk around uh, a city for once in my life. It was really nice and it was one of my favorite things about living in Buenos Aires. Another one of my favorite things was the food. You guys know if you've been watching this channel, I like to talk about the food in Buenos Aires a lot. Um, really not just Buenos Aires, it was all of Argentina. The food was amazing. Um, so I have talked about it before on this channel, so you're not going to be surprised to hear it's one of my favorite things about living there. Um, living in Buenos Aires particularly, there were cafes and restaurants, several on every street, many street corners. Um, even after three years, it was not even near enough time to hit up everything. Um, of course, we would go back to our favorite restaurants a lot. So. Even three years wasn't enough to go to all the restaurants in our neighborhood, much less the entire city. And even though Buenos Aires is known for their meats and their Malbec, there is still a really good food scene there uh, for global food. So you're going to find everything from American food to Asian food to really good Indian food. Um, there's something for everyone. There's Peruvian food that's delicious there. You will definitely, no matter what your taste buds are wanting, 
you will be able to find something that you'll like. So it's not just all meats and Malbec and empanadas. Um, it's a good global food scene in Buenos Aires as well. So if you're thinking about moving to Buenos Aires, you will not go hungry. I promise you that. In fact, you will probably eat too much while you're living there. My next favorite thing about Buenos Aires was the people watching. Now, I don't know if it's just the introvert in me, but I love to people watch and Buenos Aires was a great city to do just that. I was lucky that I live near parks when we lived there in Buenos Aires and parks are a great place. Any park bench, any hill with a blanket um, was a great place to people watch. Of course, there's numerous cafes I've talked about earlier where you can just get a coffee or a tea and just really enjoy soak up the afternoon and watch people walk by. Um, for me, I really love doing that. Where I live now, there's not really any place to people watch. Um, I kind of miss it. And same with Houston. There's not a lot of places where you just sit down on the sidewalk and or next to the sidewalk and watch people walk by. And um, I really enjoyed being able to do that there in Buenos Aires. So if you enjoy people watching, then you'll definitely enjoy living in Buenos Aires because you never know what you're going to see. And just when you think you've seen it all, the city will surprise you and you will definitely see something new. Got a little parched there. <laughs> all right, the next one is there's always something to do. This might be kind of obvious, but there are football matches, there are museums, there are beautiful churches and theaters that you can go to. Um, there's the traditional movies, there's countless restaurants, there's festivals, there are weekend festivals that they have every weekend that you can go to in different neighborhoods. There are so many things and always something to do when you live in Buenos Aires. And I loved how even just walking around on a Sunday afternoon with Fredo's in your hand, if you know Fredo's and you definitely have lived in Argentina, <laughs> I love how just that simple activity is something to do as well. And it's super common and completely acceptable to just take the day slow, go for a walk with your neighborhoods and eat some Fredo's at the same time. So you don't actually have to be in a museum or an old church to get the Argentine culture. You'll definitely absorb it just through walking down the street and seeing different things. So if you're looking for an active place or a place with a lot of culture, then Buenos Aires is definitely gonna be a great place for you to move to. The next awesome part about living in Buenos Aires is going to be the travel within Argentina. There are countless places that you can travel to that are within Argentina's borders and only about a three hour flight away from Buenos Aires. And the other best part is that there is a domestic airport in the middle of Buenos Aires, right next to Palermo, that services all the domestic flights. So that makes it super easy to quickly grab a taxi to the airport 20 minutes away from wherever you're living and get on a flight, hop on a flight for the weekend to go explore a new place in Argentina. We went to so many different places within Argentina on the weekends. It was definitely a great way to escape the crowded city, enjoy the gorgeous Argentine scenery, and just learn about a new area of Argentina. Because much like your own country, Argentina is vastly different in the different areas, whether you're in the north or the south or um, in the Pampas or in Buenos Aires, it's all a very different kind of feel and completely different scenery. So getting out of Buenos Aires and really exploring the country is going to be crucial to you really absorbing the entire Argentine culture. All right, my next favorite thing about living in BA is going to be the passionate people. Y'all, Porteños are very passionate people. They do not mess around when they're talking about politics or football or the economy. So if you're going to get in a conversation and talk about those things, and then you better be prepared. And it doesn't matter what side of the conversation you're on, as long as you take a stance and you fight for that stance to the death. <laughs> I experienced their passion when I went to Mendoza, which is their most popular wine region. Um, their passion for their wines, especially the Malbec. I also experienced it when we went down south to Ushuaia and everything was about Las Malvinas. And all I have to say is if you're in Argentina, or you're planning on visiting there, do not talk about the Falkland Islands because they will look at you very funny. Um, to them, the Las Malvinas are 
Argentine and they will never be British islands. So just keep that in mind when you're talking to the local Argentines. But that is what makes Argentines so unique is they're such a passionate people, um, whether it's wine or politics or Las Malvinas, they really have a lot of passion for what they are talking about or for what they believe in. All right, this one is gonna be for all of you who are looking to be digital nomads or who are looking to work remotely from Argentina. My next favorite thing about living there was the internet access. And maybe being American, I should have expected this, but I had just come from Luanda, Angola. So I was very pleasantly surprised with the internet access, the speed and the price that was available in Buenos Aires. Um, of course, they would go out from time to time, um, but not very often. In fact, I feel like my internet here in Texas has gone out more, which is very surprising and frustrating at the same time. I think I have said to myself at least a few times in the past four months, gosh, I miss my internet in Buenos Aires. So the internet is that good to where it feels like it was better than the internet that I get here in Texas sometimes. So if you're planning to be a digital nomad or work remotely from Buenos Aires, then you will definitely be happy with the internet there. We had an internet and cable package through Fibertel and Cable Vision, and depending on the exchange rate of the month, it was normally between $80 and the equivalent of $80 to $100. So that was for high speed internet and um, I don't know, a lot of TV channels. I'd say about 100 TV channels. So I thought the pricing was very good and the quality was very good as well. So speaking of the exchange rate, that's going to get me into my last favorite thing about living in Buenos Aires. But before I do, be sure to go below and give the video a thumbs up. So that way I know that you guys like this content. I'm sure you learned something new and I really hope this video will give you more information about what it's like to live in Buenos Aires as an expat. Um, and also be sure to hit that red subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I release a new video about expat life. All right, my final favorite thing about living in Buenos Aires as an expat was getting paid in US dollars. Now, obviously this won't apply to everyone, um, but we were in a situation and a lot of expats are where you get paid in your home currency um, but you're living in Argentina, which uses the Argentine peso. So essentially that meant that things were significantly cheaper for us because we could use our US dollars to buy Argentine pesos. And unfortunately, when we moved there in, gosh, January of 2018, um, Argentina has been in a downward economic um, cycle, unfortunately, and so the peso has gotten less valuable over time. So that has meant that our dollars have been able to purchase more pesos, um, which has made things goods cheaper for us in, over the long run. I did a video on the exchange rate of both Angola and Argentina um, when we lived there. So definitely I will link it below in the show notes. Definitely check that out because it was super detailed on how we exchanged um, for Argentine pesos and what that meant for us at the time. It's probably outdated a little bit now. Um, the actual exchange rate numbers are probably outdated because it's been about six to eight months. Um, and I'm assuming the ratio is different, um, but it'll still give you a lot of information on how we exchange, where we exchange, when we exchanged, and what that meant um, for our buying power as Americans living in Argentina. But overall, having US dollars meant that things were typically cheaper for us to purchase. The economic situation in Argentina is so incredibly unfortunate for Argentines or really anyone that doesn't have access to a stable currency like dollars or euros um, or pounds. And honestly, I would for sure give up my ability to buy things for cheaper for the economic situation to be better. But if you have access to a stable currency, then for sure living in Buenos Aires or Argentina in general is going to be cheaper for you. All right, guys, well, that is my list, my eight favorite things about living in Buenos Aires, Argentina. If you are thinking about moving there, then I say you should go for it. <laughs> it's a great place to live and work, especially if you're working remotely or as a digital nomad. Um, you will meet lots of people. There's great food. There's great Internet access. Um, there's good people watching and always something to do. And really, you can't ask for more 
if you're living overseas as an expat. It's a great place, and I really hope that each of you get to experience living in Buenos Aires. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'll catch you next week. Bye.